This new AI video tool dropped just 14 days ago, and it changes everything. It's fully uncensored, completely browser-based, and doesn't need a high-end PC to run. For months we've been stuck with Kling, Sora, and Minimax tools that look great on paper but fall apart the moment you try something bold. They're either too limited or completely locked down. But this one? No filters, no restrictions. And the crazy part you can now use Google's V2, one of the best video models in the world, completely free, right inside this platform. That's something no other site is doing right now. To really test this out, you'll need prompts. If you want them, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and my AI will send them to you immediately. And if you're serious about AI and want to learn the deeper stuff, check the link in the description to join my program. All right, let's put this video generator to the test. First things first, we need a high quality image to work with. Open up your browser and search for a platform called TensorArt. It's a powerful AI image generator that lets you create up to 250 images per day for free, which is pretty generous compared to most platforms out there. Once you're on the site, click on the Models tab. You'll see a wide selection of different AI models you can use for various visual styles. One of the most popular and versatile ones is called Flux 0.1 Dev. It's known for generating highly detailed and expressive images. There's also another model on the list that some creators use for more exclusive or boundary-pushing content. But for this walkthrough, we'll stick with something safe and powerful. Flux 0.1 Dev. Just click on Run next to it. Now you'll be asked to describe the kind of image you want. In my case, I'll go with something subtle but visually appealing. So I'll type something like a young woman wearing a casual gym outfit with orange hair, standing in a softly lit bedroom. This kind of prompt helps you get a clean focused visual that still feels realistic and engaging. If your niche leans a little more into the expressive side of things, you'll know how to adjust the prompt accordingly, but always keep things tasteful and respectful. Once you've typed in your description, go ahead and click generate. After a few moments the image should appear, you'll notice the quality is surprisingly high. The facial structure, lighting, and background all come together nicely. This is the kind of output that works great for the next step. Now download your image. We're going to take this visual and run it through a video generation tool that's been getting a lot of buzz lately, especially for people building visual characters or digital personalities. Here's where things get really interesting. Open a new browser tab and search for Hugging Face AI. Click on the first link that comes up. This platform hosts a wide range of experimental tools, many of which are ideal for creators like us. Once you're on the Hugging Face page, click on Spaces, then type Video Generation in the search bar. One of the top results should be a tool called Frame Park, and yes this one supports some very creative use cases. Click on Frame Park, and give it a moment to load. This is where we'll bring our image to life. All you have to do is drag and drop the photo you generated earlier into the tool. Now that you've uploaded your image into the tool, the next step is to guide the AI on what kind of movement or expression you want it to perform. This is where the prompt comes in. Pay close attention here, because some settings on this page should be left exactly as they are. For example, there's a delete after use toggle. It's best not to touch that. Then there's the frame settings which control how long your video will be. If you're just doing a quick preview or test, you might want to reduce the duration. But if you're working on something a bit more engaging or expressive, feel free to extend the length. For this demo, I'll shorten it slightly to around 3.3 seconds, just to speed things up. You'll also notice a seed value field. This controls the randomness of the generation. You can ignore that for now, and just focus on the prompt. So let's start simple. I'll type in a prompt like she smiles softly at the viewer. Once you're ready, click on generate, and the AI will begin processing. Give it a moment, and just like that, a short video clip is ready. In this case it's only about a second long, since I kept the duration low. But again, the longer the frame steps, the longer your video result will be. Let's try a different prompt now. Something subtle again, like she waves gently at the viewer. I'll keep the settings similar, maybe lower the frame steps just a bit to make it faster. Click generate again, and the tool will begin creating the next motion clip. Once it's done you'll see the result below, and honestly, this is really impressive. The character looks natural, the transitions are clean, and there's no weird distortion or morphing. 
the movements feel fluid and believable, especially considering how minimal the input was. What's really powerful here is the ability to build consistent animated expressions without needing to touch a single video editor. This tool handles everything directly from your image and prompt. And yes you can download the video right from here and use it wherever your content strategy takes you. Whether it's building a virtual persona, creating exclusive visuals, or anything else that fits your niche. So that's how it works. You can keep testing more prompts on your own, and explore how far you can push this tool creatively. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video, share it with someone who needs it, and subscribe to the channel for more AI tools and deep dive tutorials like this one.